wiser with the Athens paper. Hey, Stetson, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, can you uh, talk about the, uh, I guess you, I think you guys scored on four uh, straight drives in the first half and you got going with Kyrus Jackson. Did, did you feel like uh, things were in a good flow and what was uh, making it so successful? Yeah, uh, I mean, just the way that Coach Munkin called it. Um, he uh, he knew exactly when we needed to run the ball and he knew whenever we needed to take a shot downfield and Kyrus was open a lot tonight and he he, he played a heck of a game and, and uh, yeah. For our next question, we'll go to Seth Emerson. Hey, Stetson. Um, there was a play, I think you took a shot, and I think the very next play was when you laid it into George for the touchdown. Do you remember that sequence and just hanging yeah, in? Yeah, um, they're bringing pressure from the field, and then we acted like we're uh, – or we checked the <laughs> to that field, and they switched the, tech, they switched the blitz, and they brought it from the boundary, and we got hit. Um, and then the very next play, I, yeah, I threw the fade ball to George, and he just went up and made a heck of a play like he does. Next question will go to uh, Dean Leggy, and then we'll from Dean we'll go to Mike Griffith. Stetson, you must have been thinking about a moment like this much of your life and your your childhood growing up um, to beat Auburn the way that y'all did, twenty-seven to six. How does that make you feel, and what do you think the reaction is, and uh, where you grew up? Um, it was awesome. I mean, it was, it was, it, it's so easy to play football when, when the defense plays as well as they did and, and we can run the ball as, as well as we did and, and the players on the outside make plays like they did. Um, I'm sure everybody back home was probably enjoying that a little bit. Yeah, but it was pretty cool. Mike Griffith, far away. Yeah, Stetson, can you just talk about the tempo? It, it just seems like there's such a rhythm that, that we really haven't seen out of this George offense in a in a long time. Does it feel like a two-minute drill when you guys get in that rhythm out there and that looks like a lot of air raid concepts? Yeah, I think Coach Munkin does a great job just um, knowing when we need to go fast and knowing when we need to go slow. And, you know, we know what we're going to do. We know that we're going to be able to go fast and, and, and we're in better shape, hopefully, than everybody else. And so whenever the time comes where we need to go fast, we can and we can execute. For our next question, we'll go to Paul Newberry with the Associated Press, followed by Brandon Such. Hey, Seth, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, man. Um, did you, you know, you talked about this moment a couple of questions ago, but did you really think this would ever come? You know, I mean, there's been, <laughs> Jake was here, you left. Uh, and even with all the guys that were coming in this year, you know, a lot of people just kind of forgot about you. Um, did you did you really see that this could ever happen, something like this? I mean, I don't know. It's not really my job to worry about that. Um, you know, I mean, if you think of things in that broad or if you, you think about, you know, I was starting first game, game day, top 10 matchup, then, yeah, it's going to be like, oh, my goodness. But, no, I just I, I just go out every day and just play football. Um, Seth and I, so I know after the game last week, it was a, like you showed a lot of confidence. And then coming out of that, um, did you kind of go through this whole week knowing that, that you would end up starting uh, tonight? And then in terms of how you led the offense, um, what was kind of the key to you getting comfortable in the offense all night? Um, yeah, I had an idea that I was going to start. Um, and just, I mean, being able to be comfortable in this offense is easy because I'm surrounded by such great players and, and the offense line gives me time. And, you know, Coach Monken gives us great calls every time. And, and so, I mean, yeah, the week, the week helped uh, getting reps with those guys, but it, it, it's pretty easy to uh, feel comfortable with those guys. They... Next questions will go to uh, Chip Towers, followed by Allison Mastrangelo. Yes, that's, I just wonder uh, specifically, did you know, you know, right at the beginning of the week uh, with, that, that this was going to be your start tonight? And uh, if not, exactly when did you know, you know, this was going to be your ball uh, to, to take out first? Yeah, I knew, uh, I knew on Monday that I was going to be the guy. And how did that help, hurt, or uh, otherwise? Yeah, I mean, it always helps knowing, you know, having certainty that, you know, um, 
that you're, it's going to be your ball. And just getting reps with the, uh, with the ones all week long helps with the timing. Hey, Stetson, I was uh, curious, does, has Kirby kind of led you to believe that it's your job to lose now, or is it more of like a, a, a game-to-game -game basis about you starting? Like, are you seen as the starting quarterback from this moment going forward? Uh, I don't know. I mean, we didn't have the, you know, conversation like that. Um, but, I mean, yeah, if you don't produce, you don't play. So, it's just how it goes. For our next question, we'll go to Jake Rowe. Um, followed by Mark Bradley. Uh, yes, that's an, uh, I noticed that, um, you know, there in the fourth quarter, you were kind of clutching your hand a little bit and uh, working with the tra trainers on the side. How was that feeling? Kind of what happened that, that made it, you know, kind of, I guess, fire up on you? Yeah, I was uh, third down when I hit D-Rob for the first down. Um, I hit it on a helmet, and I think I just, like, jammed my finger. And, and so that's all that was. And, and we just got a heat pack on there. Ron gave me a heat pack, and so it will be all right. Mark Radley, question. Uh, next question will go to Dennis Dodd, followed by David Pascal. Stetson, put this in perspective. When you came to Georgia, um, what were your what were your goals? You hear me? Hello. Stetson's muted. Oh, Stetson's muted. Hold on. Oops. All right, we're good. Uh, hey, go ahead. Yeah, can you repeat that? I'm sorry. Uh, what, just put this in perspective. When you got to Georgia, what were your goals? Uh, it was time. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, yeah, my goal was always to start here. Um, that's why I came here in the first place instead of taking a, a smaller offer um, where I probably could have started earlier. But, um, yeah, I mean, come here to play football and, and hopefully win an SEC championship and a national championship for uh, Georgia Bulldogs. Stetson, I know you were in Mississippi a couple of years ago, but, but since really your overall time at Georgia, that's four straight wins over Auburn. Uh, what, is it about, what is it about Georgia and playing so well against Auburn? I mean, Auburn's beaten Alabama two of the last three years, but, but you guys really seem to do a number – on them when y'all play? Yeah, I don't know. I think we just all realize how big of a game it is and how much Auburn wants to beat us. And, and um, we're just not going to let that happen. And, and we just, I mean, it's just the way we approach every, the week and, and the game week. I mean, we respect the heck out of Auburn. They're, they're a great football team. Um, but we just go out there every, every day and we just know that if we don't practice well enough, we're, they're going to beat us. And, and so we just don't let that happen. Next question will go to Maria Martin, followed by Adam Rittenberg. Hey, Stetson, can you talk about the offensive line for a second? Because it's, it seems like they've made a lot of progress and gave you a lot of time back there today at, at times. Yeah, I mean, first of all, I mean, we started running the ball really well, and, and we, were, we were pushing and shoving on Auburn's D-line. And so um, – when it, when it came time to throw, they were tired, and, and they gave me so much time. That, that deep ball to Kiaris, um, I should have pulled the trigger a little bit earlier, but, I mean, I don't know. They just gave me so much time. I was back there just hanging out, I guess. But um, they're, the way those guys work and, and just the communication and, and how they just move as one unit is, is awesome, and I'm proud to be back there behind them. Well, thank you. Hey, Stetson, I was just wondering how your confidence has changed from going into last game to obviously getting in the game, going through the week of practice, and now having won a game like this. How has that evolved over the last week or so? Yeah, I mean, I'd like to say it's always been the same and it, it, it stayed the same. But, I mean, it's, it, it's, it's increased a little bit. I mean, not, you know, exponentially, but a little bit, just working with those guys and just seeing how we've been playing football.
Justin, appreciate it. Congratulations on the victory. Yes, Coach sir. Smart will join us shortly. Thank you all.